The egg white? I have the egg white, roasted red pepper fries, or the reduced fat Do the uh, turkey bacon sandwich then. Okay. And also, can I do um, a large decaf? Large. Do you want to do like a decaf americano? Yes. Did you want to get it hot or ice? Oh, um, hot is fine. Okay, any cream or sugar? Creams and uh, can I get two pumps of vanilla also? Uh, that should be all. Okay. Thank you. Yo, what's going on? This is Samuel Kunal from Samuel K Fit. Checking in with you guys. We guys are doing well, doing terrific. We are back with another video. So in today's video, we have a quite uh, a lot going on, quite a bit going on. Uh, so the last video I did uh, covering the St. Louis show that Charlie uh, from my fellow arm RP strength uh, co-worker, I should say, uh, won the overall. Uh, in the comment section, a lot of you guys, uh, some of you guys did comment saying that they would love to see what like a, you know, a day in the life of a coach uh, looks like. So that's what we are gonna be doing today because I am on my way uh, to the uh, St. Louis Natural Pro Ham, uh, the Keith Hunter Show in St. Louis around St. Charles area, if you're familiar with the area, you know what I'm talking about geographically. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, so we headed to the show because I have a client competing in men's physique. Uh, we've been working together for the past uh, six months or so and uh, we were initially we were going to do the last show in St. Louis but I thought it wasn't ready enough so we thought you know let's push it out and do this show so that's what we are going to be doing uh, so yeah figure out to take you guys along uh, of course uh, I just left home I haven't really eaten anything to it today so I stopped and grabbed coffee um, yes this is a decaf like I mentioned in my previous video you guys saw um, this will be my the last video you guys saw was recorded two days ago, so I'm still on a stim break, and I think I am gonna end that stim break this weekend. Wow, they're giving two cups. I'm trying to save the planet. What's going on, people? Starbucks, get your shit together. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not that petty. But anyway, so I got sugar free, uh, sugar free, uh, two pounds of vanilla, uh, two milks, and decaf. Yes. <laughs> funny because I made a, a post that asked people like you know what do you drink do you normally drink decaf or do you even try decaf at all and I made a typo and it was deca instead of decaf a lot of people have fun with that so uh, <laughs> maybe I'm still nice maybe I'm not who knows but anyway so uh, what I got also um, they said they don't they don't have the turkey egg white sandwich but this is the turkey egg white sandwich obviously because I'm gonna cut right now and this is gonna be my first meal today uh, today I already had the uh, my greens and rest this morning obviously because that's what I start my day with um, now I'm gonna have the turkey uh, bacon egg white sandwich if you guys can see that or not if you can't I don't know uh, so yeah, I'm gonna um, have this uh, head to the show. The show is gonna be five minutes down the uh, down the corner from here, and uh, yeah, I'll take you guys along. Let's go. Pretty good, micro friendly. So my girl to pipe down, need it right now Lately I've been going to the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Sorry. Okay, so um, I just got to the show uh, Me, I've actually I've been at the show for quite some time now uh, Which the show's running uh, on schedule My clients aren't going to be going on until about two hours now I just checked on him, I'm going to overlay some pictures of what it looks like right now He's backstage chilling And I uh, got my bag I'm actually going to go in, into the uh, crowd right now and I'm going to be doing some client checking while I do this. Uh, yeah, uh, show's going pretty well. It's going pretty fast. It's a straight through show. That's one of the things I like about natural shows or maybe just the shows that I've been to compared to the St. Louis show. It's a straight through show. So when it goes on, they do awards right away and they can actually leave on their own. So we started in today with uh, one meal so far just because it's a later show. Uh, we liked the way it looked this morning. We didn't really do anything too crazy. Uh, we are gonna be uh, fed him a little bit of carbs just to hold him off. And the next meal is probably not gonna be it's about you know another hour or so from now. And that meal should ride him into the show because again, it's men's physique. You got to lift him a little bit tighter. And uh, yeah, um, I'll introduce him later. Um, you know, get some shots of him while he's you know getting ready to yeah, hit the stage. And we'll see how the day goes. The job is done. You know, just gotta you know get on stage and display the hard work that has been put it on. Now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning Shawty got a way, we been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told Sideways, I can't take no days off. They know I can't. Lately, I've 
how they drip, so they see me making waves They don't even see how many chances I done gave I been working hard, dog. I think I need a raise Said I couldn't do it, but I told my girl to pipe down Need it right now Lately I have been going till the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty, now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm 2-3 cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we have been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm 2-3 cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a wave, we have been chilling by the ocean Yeah, yeah I can tell a hundred stacks by I am a mathematician Just when many plays up from my dealer, I get commission I'm walking, I got my bitches on this bed, like they're too bitchy If a wife, I can make it, ain't the first time Oh, quarter million in the Hermes, Hermes show In Dubai, I got my grades, that my turn the tide off Moving in a motorcade, in the bourbon ride a solo Yeah, solid chest stones, look like breath mints Yeah, you rock fake jewelry, I need an EpiPen That bitch fucking with a shrimp, she has to tear <laughs> so he's about to balloon up to about uh, another 30 pounds in about a week. No, yeah. we're not doing that. We're not doing any of that. Uh, no, I mean, so one thing I typically tell a lot of clients is, one, it's a very subjective sport. You can only do your best and uh, kind of just let the card fall where they may. And the card just fell. I personally think he should have won overall, of course. Bias? It's not even bias. It's, you know, reality. Just because he had better shape. He's, he had better shape, better condition, symmetry. Uh, you guys saw the clip, so... Uh, but you know, it's bodybuilding. You know, uh, take things very intrinsically. You know, things you can work on, not just like you know. Yet, yeah, judges can get it wrong. But what can you do to improve? Uh, so it is what it is. I mean, I'm sure he's happy regardless. But as a coach, I'm like, ah, it's a little gut wrench just because you know how hard people work to get to that position. You want them to obviously win. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. What it is. It is what it is. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um yeah that is the uh video that's a date in the life of a coach um so you, a lot of it's very hard to kind of convey like the details that go into like my day especially when i have a client competing yeah, it's actually different than me competing with somebody or coaching somebody in person uh because all the clients obviously got to take a backseat a little bit not backseat i, I don't like that word uh, but i mean it's going to take a little while to get to them but luckily we have you know cool technologies like um uh, a hotspot on your phone like I can put my laptop off and um, start getting some client work done but as a uh, client getting somebody ready for a show day it takes a lot of details uh, if I'm not with him I typically I mean I'm on I mean constant uh, communication with my clients as the day goes by you know just sending pictures like every two hours or so update on when they are going to be stepping on stage and update on what they are looking like so we can auto regulate as we go uh, through the day because something is really set in stone if you competed before, you know you can say, "Oh, you think you're gonna, you're gonna be competing about you know two hours, and you're not gonna compete until uh, you know five o'clock." For instance, today you're supposed to be competing around uh, two thirty. You do not step on stage until like four thirty, so you have to like time that properly to make sure you know the, uh, it's not too spilled, it's not too flat, it's kind of right in the middle. So it takes a lot, it takes a lot of guessing, uh, not not guessing work, but just a lot of communication and. Uh, uh, and almost like a, you need you need an expert eye to know exactly how somebody's looking, and it doesn't come you know all at once. Uh, pause. 
um, but it definitely something that you know that you have to do or uh, work with so many clients that you tend to you know what the look uh, that you're looking for uh, but yeah I mean it's it's and just to wrap that up again I mean he I had him uh, place in uh, winners overall today uh, but he won his class uh, a tall class uh, and came short uh, uh, in overall, I didn't wait to hear any of the judges' uh, feedback. And a lot of times you see how the judges have been judging the show throughout the day and they've been going with like more size than just, you know, than quote unquote condition. I look at that one today, I think it might have, you know, it might be a little tighter, like in the, uh, in the app session, rather than that. Um, a client, uh, uh, all I just had a better shape, uh, better size than the other guy, uh, too. And, you know, the condition of both of them is not too far off either. So, you know, that's one thing if you want to, if you're thinking about competing in the bodybuilding, uh, something you have to like keep in mind that uh, if you want a sport that's like clear cut, you know, winner, then you choose a sport like, you know, track or powerlifting. Even sometimes in powerlifting can be a little muddy a little bit just because, oh yeah, you know, you didn't hit dabs, you know, you didn't lock out, you know, those are in, but you have less chances of things going completely uh, out, of, out of your control compared to like bodybuilding. But that's the cool part of a bodybuilding. When you compete in the bodybuilding shows, uh, you know, you go into it like, you know, you've done your best and that's the only thing you get really control. You get really control what the other judges think that day as far as, you know, what the look they're going for. So you do your best, you show up and you just show out. Uh, that's all you can really do. And the cool part, again, I, tell, I mean, I did a podcast with uh, Eric Helms and Omar not too long ago and I told them, like, you know, I love bodybuilding just because it allows me anytime, even though I feel like, I, you know, it shows that I think I could actually won that I lost. I'm always looking intrinsically to figure out, okay, what could I have done to put myself in a better situation than what happened? Because that allows you to kind of just put that control back in your hand and not giving that control to somebody else. Like, oh no, I lost because they didn't give me what I thought I deserved, you know, but I lost because I did not do enough. So next time I'm gonna make sure I do all everything possible to make sure that doesn't happen again. It just allows you to kind of just put a plan of action in, into play. And I just sit around and be like, oh, what is me kind of, you know, space. So, but yeah, I mean, again, you know, a lot of, you know, shows like this, on a day, this like this, they like the coach, especially working with a client in person. It's a lot of waiting around, you know, me doing some client work, me just like in person watching, you know, chit chat people, talk, talking to maybe younger athletes, they know who I am, they want to chat with me um, about bodybuilding or fitness or clients and pop prospective clients that, you know, they know who I am, they want to work with me. Or you see like in fellow competitors too, like, you know, they are, you know, they uh they they're competing uh, during the day and you know just just shoot the shit all in all it's a good time and uh hopefully you guys enjoy this um uh, and yeah that's all i got really and i'll talk to you guys on the next video peace